After finishing Heavy Rain myself over a year ago, I've been begging my boyfriend to let me watch him experience this masterpiece because I appreciate dramatic cinema that isn't afraid to make you cry, from laughing until some tiny pee comes out as well. And last week, he finally said those 16 magic words every girl wants to hear. Fine, I'll play your dumb interactive bullshit overrated laser disc game. God I'm dating an imbecile. And I said, oh yeah. Then, just as I expected, he hated Heavy Rain so much, he couldn't put it down he loved it so much and beat it in one awful sitting that was totally worth it, kind of. I hope it was worth it. It's so bad, it's good. Stop! Stop! This is so bad. That's what makes it good. Stop! So boring, it's entertaining. Yeah, about five seconds should do. And so unplayable that not playing it is the most fun we've had playing a game together in years. Oh! Look out! Oh! Sorry, no. I'm really sorry. sorry about your flower. Sorry, it's my first day on the job. Oh! But before our deep dive into the mind of David Cage begins, I'm gonna assume that a lot of people who bought Heavy Rain when it first came out are pretty confused right now because they remember it being an amazing Sony exclusive for intellectual PS3 owners, not dumb jocks on Xbox 360 who only played games to socialize with the other normal kids at school. And those people are remembering it correctly. At the time, Heavy Rain's visuals were so amazing and its subject matter so bold, it proved once and for all that Xbox jerks are pawns of conformity who don't know art and wear brand name circus clothes, while Sony chads are gaming connoisseurs who have bigger graphics and listen to the best music, not the radio. The problem is that at the time, Heavy Rain's visuals were so amazing and its subject matter so bold, almost no one noticed how incredibly stupid it is. I know what to do. I'll get in the fridge like Indiana Jones. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'll make David Cage a sandwich. That's what a woman will do. <laughs> Am I literally getting in the fridge of Indiana Jones? Yes! David Cage! <laughs> to implement some of the funniest gameplay ideas I've ever seen, Quantic Dream chose a super unfunny child murder mystery filled with eye-rolling red herrings. I'm the origami killer. Nonsensical MacGuffins. I need a little no, explanation. No, no, Matthew, you're asking too much. Hackneyed tropes. Hey, Quacker! Ooh. <laughs> I'm sure this is going to be a really well-written character to the cage. <laughs> and an unsatisfactory, straight-up impossible answer to the plot's primary question, who done it? Only Tommy Wiseau's unintentional comedy, <laughs> The Room, can rival the confidence incompetence and lack of self-awareness on display in David Cage's R-rated Dragon's Lair type game about dead kids and divorce. It's hilarious. You're just not nimble enough. But you'll get there one day. Let's start at the very beginning, when the game teaches you how to control the animation speed of random actions, such as Ethan getting out of bed, which is a lot like watching a movie that pauses random scenes, such as Batman getting out of bed, so you can scrub back and forth frame by frame because, well, I guess because now it's a video game. You know what would really make it a video game though? If somehow you could use Batman's legs to walk around the room. But that's impossible. No game dev has ever figured out walking around a room intuitively using a joystick conveniently until Quantic Dream said it's big brain time because joysticks actually already point every direction the player wants to go. So on the opposite side of your controller, press down the go button from racing car games to give the person some gas. Then precisely touch the joystick briefly and the person will go that direction forever. Any questions? What? Well, if you want them to stop, just stop pressing go, you f***ing moron. David Cage got a BAFTA for this. I think he knows which button makes the guy go. The go button, you f***ing haters. Heavy Rain is art. Next, the main character juggles in his underwear. Wow. Juggling is definitely one of the quick time events ever made. Wow! In real life, this would be mind numbing to watch, but in a video game, it's mind numbing to watch. Let's take a stinky piss. Wow! This serves no purpose, so my boyfriend will do it every time David Cage gives him the option, which is constantly. 
Okay gamers, we're only five minutes into heavy rain and you're probably wondering, how is this gameplay I paid $60 for? Possibly going to get better than waking up and using the bathroom. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe an RC monster truck? Ever heard of it? This bad boy is not one of the quick time events ever made. It's a cutscene where you get yelled at by your wife for trying to do something fun in heavy rain. I thought you bought that for the kids. Of course, I'm just checking that it still works. Now shut up and set the table like she asked. Not like that. Ethan! I know, I know. Gentle? No! Ethan! I know, I know. All right, again. But do it more like a pathetic loser walking on eggshells in his own house because his wife is the devil. Ethan! There you go! Let's take the skills you've learned so far outside to raise a couple kids. And FYI, one of them is going to die. Soon. And the other is going to get kidnapped. Soon. So for this dark, violent story to work, the player really needs to build a deep emotional attachment to these boys. Spin, 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 run, run, run. Easy, cut to Jason wandering off at the mall even though you specifically asked him not to. Don't panic, you know the drill. Just yell, Jason, like how an alien would. Jason! Heavy Rain has a whole button for that. Jason! The Jason button. Jason! <gasps> You're not my friend. It's not silly, it's cool to yell Jason. Jason! Some people like shooting games, and some people like platforming games, and a few people like searching for their disobedient child games. Jason! I'm so f***ing bored. <gasps> there he is! Jason! Sprinting into a busy street where he certainly gets hit by a car. Ethan! I know, I know. <laughs> Honestly, I've only known Jason for a short time, but Quantic Dream used that time remarkably well if their intention was for me to develop a very real, very strong feeling that Jason was kind of an asshole. Jason is dead. Oh yeah, hit by a car in the prime of his life. Yeah! Jason was hit by a car. It didn't matter. Then the next nine hours of heavy rain only get more schmeckin' from there. Sean disappears, but before you can find your only living son, you'll need to find your car. Maybe it's on this lane. Let me see here. Okay. Matthew. Uh, yeah. What in the world? Matthew. <laughs> Where did I park that dang thing? Maybe here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh? Where you. is that dang car? But Ethan doesn't have to find it alone. FBI agent Naman Jaden is also on the case. He's got god-level technology in his sunglasses and a power glove, which gives you full control over his PowerPoint remote. <laughs> Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your fast experience on the job, or did you just f read about it in some school book? <laughs> Still not sexy enough for you? Don't worry. Allegedly, David Cage said, in my games, all women are whores. But he denies this and asks that people judge him by his work. Well, after judging him by his work on Heavy Rain, all I have left to say is, let's go girls. Uh. You can watch me pee or microwave some tea wearing just my underpants. Wanna meet some boys who won't give me a choice So I'll do a slutty dance uh. On a dangerous mission, no ammunition But my tits will do just fine If you want me groped or tied up with some rope You only need to fail quick time The best thing about a David King Woman is the derogative to take a little punch and oh no I oh the rain is lazy because I'm a lady no shirt rip skirt oh no I oh let girls go wild about drink this roofied wine no I oh men are for action I'm for attraction mess up my hair hit with a chair oh no I He doesn't like women. 
Hello there. I'm here in my office because I have some very important stuff to tell you. Listen, after playing David Cage games, there is one thing that I truly crave, and that is a shower. And that is why I am so thankful for today's sponsor, Dr. Squatch. I've told you guys a couple of times now how much I love Dr. Squatch and their natural products. All their gender neutral scents are insanely delicious and range from fresh to woodsy to herbal, sweet and musky. 10 out of 10, a little something for everyone. They not only have a beautiful variety of scents, but you can pretty much use Dr. Squatch products for like every step in your routine. Brush your teeth, wash your hair, wash your bod, pop on your beard oil, and don't forget your natural deodorant. Because remember, we don't like harsh chemicals near the bubbies. Then when you inevitably have to poop or something, light one of those yummy crackling candles and don't forget to wash your hands you monster obviously we love dr squatch's products and they have new limited edition scents coming out all the time so make sure you check out the link in the description and don't forget to use the code dsqgfr new customers can get 20 percent off on orders 20 dollars or more again big thanks to dr squatch for sponsoring us so we can make these videos but especially the hugest biggest thank you to you guys who watch our content and an extra secret special thank Thank you to the folks who check out our sponsors. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys for being so patient with us. We know we haven't uploaded in a while. I got sick for a week and then Matt got sick for a week and we've been doing some wedding planning and life stuff. So it's just been a little bit crazy and overwhelming trying to catch up. We really appreciate your patience and your support. Don't forget to check out our Twitch channel. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We have a Patreon also. Okay, thanks, bye. One of the things that I was having a little trouble with David Cage, he said, okay, this is how we do this. And I'm like, no, no, David, that's that's how you think we do this. My hope someday is that there is a crossover, somebody who's actually trained dramatically and trained theatrically and maybe, maybe with story writing and storytelling and staging and performance will actually be in charge of one of these games.